Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you how to connect a controller to 3D Aim Trainer. If you don't know what 3D Aim Trainer is, basically it's a, an app um, you can play online. Um, so this game helps you improve your, your aiming skills like for games like Fortnite, Call of Duty. And I use it to help practice aiming you know shooting at targets um, and it has helped me improve my aiming skills in Call of Duty so what you see here is 3d aim trainer.com so this is the website where you can play on the browser the controller I have is a it's a USB controller it's a SciTech rumble and I'll show you what you need uh, to, to program this controller to play 3D Aim Trainer. In this video, I'm showing you how to set this up on an iMac. Later on, I'll create another video on how to do this on a PC. First, we'll go to the, the App Store. Okay, and you will download an app called Joystick Mapper. And we'll use this app to program the controller. So I'll open the app and it, it already has a bunch of preloaded um, programs. Um, so I'll show you how to create a new program for this particular controller. It may be different for whatever controller you're using. So if you go to the bottom, it says add new preset, you click that. Okay. And then over here, so I'll just type in a name. I'll call it FPS, like first person shooter. So we're programming this for that 3D aim trainer. So I'll just put FPS and I'll put the name of the controller. It's a rumble. Okay. And then you click add new joystick. So I have mine already plugged in to the Mac. So it's showing up here. And then you want to add a new bind so let's program this stick here okay so this would be to move your character forward back left and right okay so I'll do four of them and let's change so we'll change the letters okay so we'll make this forward so let's make this W and then this one will be S and this one will be A and this one will be D okay and then what you do there's a button it says scan you click that and then you press on the controller so I'll press forward okay that will be to go forward and, and it changed it to an axis and it changed it to one because that's what the program the controllers program to for that di particular direction so I'll click I'll press scan for the next one and I'll press down on the stick okay then we'll do the next one this is for left so I'll press scan and then on the controller I'll press left and then we'll do right so press scan on the next one then press right okay the next one we'll do is the mouse controls so this would be like for aiming okay so I'll do four more on this so add two three four and it's for uh, different directions so this one will change it to mouse motion okay I click that and change it to mouse motion okay we'll change all of them to mouse motion okay you notice all of them says shows up so that one will be up let's change this to down we'll change this one to left and then right and then we'll do like we did earlier we, we press scan to program it so I'll press scan and then on this stick I'll press up this stick so I'll press scan on this one press down and then program the next one scan and then I press left and then the next one scan 
and then press right. Okay, the next thing you want to do is program how fast the mouse moves when you press these sticks. Okay, so put it somewhere around the middle. So you just drag this here to the middle. Okay. Now, what I'll program is the aim button and then the shoot button. So these two buttons here will program next. So I'm going to click the little plus and the, another one. So for each button, and let's change which key. Let's maybe let's change this to a one and change this to a two. Okay. So now let's program it. So I'm going to click scan. I'm going to press the left button here. And then let's do the next one scan and press the right button. Okay. So now it's all programmed. So the next thing you do, let's close this. And then before you're able to use it, you have to click the check box to enable it. So the way you can test it, you can move the mouse around. Okay. And that's with the right stick. Okay. So now let's, let's go back to 3D aim trainer. Okay. And let's go to quick play to test it. Um, let's try this one here, play, and then click play in browser. Okay, and you press F on the keyboard and press P. So let's go to options. So we want to control, you want to program the, the controls. So go down to controls. And if you notice that forward is already W, S, A, that's pretty standard for, for moving a character. Um, so let's program the aim. So if I click this, where it says aim, and then I'll press the, the button on the controller, the left trigger, press it. And then let's press for primary fire. So that's to shoot the weapon. I'll press that and then on the controller, I press the little right button. Okay. Now I'll go back, continue, and now I can move the gun around. Move, I can aim it, and then I can move the character, you know, forward, back, left, right. And then if I do the left trigger, you know, I can aim the gun, and then the right trigger shoots. Okay, so I can aim at the target and I can shoot at it. And that's how you program a controller to play 3D Aim Trainer. If you found this video helpful, um, please click the like button. And remember to subscribe um, so you can see more videos. I'll create another video on how to program a controller on the PC to play 3D Aim Trainer. And also leave a comment. Let me know what you liked about the video. And thank you.